Hey everybody, today we're talking about Batman One Bad Day, Clayface. Hey everybody, welcome back to Beat Case Bullets. As always, I'm your host, Frank Casina, and today we're back finishing out our Batman One Bad Day series uh, with Clayface and then Raz, Raish al Ghul, Raz al Ghul to follow. Um, this one is written by Colin Kelly and Jackson Lansing, art by Hermonico, I believe is the way you pronounce it, and it is wonderful. This is the one that I was most looking forward to reading because, you know, um, Colin Kelly and Jackson Lansing have had been doing a great job on the Captain America books. I was really enjoying that like little duo run they were doing there. Uh, I don't know, maybe they're on just on the regular Cap book, but they brought everything together with um, Sam Wilson's book and Cap's book. I thought that was a really cool little tie-in that they did with the, I don't know if you know what this, this weird organization about the S.H.I.E.L.D. So I think they're kind of fun emerging writers, so I was excited to read this little Clayface story. And this is a really interesting Clayface story. If you ever wonder, like, what would Clayface be like if left to his own devices, what would he do? This is exactly that, and it's so much fun. It takes place in Hollywood. Get the Brian Boland cover on the back here. And um, it's a lot of fun because it's it's um, Basil Carlo is our clay face here, and he's in Hollywood. He's trying to be an actor. He's kind of struggling to keep his form a lot, and he's encountering things where, you know, people think that he's no good or whatever, and then the friends around him that he's made – are doing better than him. So what does he choose to do? He kind of chooses to take them over or, you know, or, you know, get do away with a person that's in his way and then, you know, impersonate them to advance his character's career, you know, uh, whatever character he's playing that day of, of, of an actor. And then it all kind of comes home to roost at the end of the day when there's a party and all these kind of other people are invited and he kind of has to be like most of them. You have a little fight with Batman at the end but I thought this was really, really good. It takes place in the rain. You know, rain and clay don't go together very well. But it's a whole lot of fun. Um, yeah, it's kind of a short and sweet review. Honestly, I read this many, many weeks ago. So it's not super fresh in here. But um, honestly, I can tell you this is a two thumbs up book. Like this, this one was awesome. So short little video. Let me know what you guys think down below. Art's great. Writing's great. Two thumbs way up on Batman One Bad Day, Clayface. Hey everybody, guess what? We're gonna do a two for one. We're gonna do Raz al Ghul at the end of the Clayface video, uh, or maybe this is the beginning of the Raz al Ghul video and Clayface is the two for one. I don't know, it hasn't been edited yet. Probably this would be the second one. But um, yeah, this is short little reviews I think because I have read them so long ago and didn't record it right away. Went on some travel and did some work and just stuff around the house and lost track of it. But this one was was cool. Uh, it's written by Tom Taylor, art by Ivan Race, who did Blackest Night, of course, Green Lantern, Jeff Johns. Wonderful, wonderful artist. Phenomenal art in here. Just these last two ones with uh, Hermanico and Ivan Rice doing phenomenal stuff. If you've been reading his stuff on Detective Comics recently, this is very reminiscent of that. Uh, very dark, very detailed, very moody, very broody. Lots of shadow, lots of detail, lots of rendering. And it's honestly like, you know, some artists evolve their style and get looser with age. And it seems like um, Ivan Rice is getting faster and tighter in his uh, as his career advances in time. And I think that's that's pretty awesome. Um, this one is fun. It's a little bit of a more of a murder mystery. Like it's less focused on... Raz al Ghul and more focused on like Batman and Robin a little bit trying to solve this mystery although Raz al Ghul is kind of you know in the background but the confrontation with Batman and Raz al Ghul and Damien comes in the middle of the book like it's pretty early on you're not really waiting for it at the very end like most of the of the One Bad Day books I felt like maybe Batman appeared more towards the end of the story and here he's a driving force in the story and you know start to confront Raz in the middle. And, you know, there, there's, of course, another scheme to rid the earth of humanity and things like that. Um, the most interesting thing in here is this one panel, which I can't show you, but I will show you 
Damien's reaction to it. That's fun. That one was really fun. Um, and yeah, just this is kind of like almost as if maybe it's a what if Roz won. Uh, what if Roz went all the way and won? And that is kind of cool. Of course, you cannot have a Batman Roz al Ghul comic book without a sword fight in the snow. So it's very reminiscent of that Arrow episode with Green Arrow instead of Batman. But um, yeah, I think it's I think it was a whole lot of fun. You got the Lazarus pits in here, all all the classic Roz stuff, environmentalism, ego maniacal bad guy, Batman, Robin. The detective, my son, my heir, all that sorts of shit is in here. And just beautifully drawn, beautifully rendered by Ivan Rice. Um, so it's, it's Tom Taylor delivering on the goods. Like it's basically Tom Taylor going, hey, what do you want in a Ra's al Ghul story? And like, if you were to make one graphic novel that was a standalone, like, hey, this is a great Ra's al Ghul story. You'd go, I want Batman facing Ra's al Ghul in a sword fight. Check, is he shirtless? Maybe. Um, do you have an environmentalism plot? Yes. Are there uh, hierarchy issues in terms of who's going to be the heir to whom? Yes. Are there cliffhangers? Yes. Is there Lazarus pits? Yes. Beautiful women? Yes. So it's it's got it all. It's got it all. So if you grew up on Batman the Animated Series, of that two-parter, and you know you love this kind of stuff, Roz al Ghul, awesome. And I know I'm saying Roz. And the Batman the Animated Series I got schooled on recently says Ray Shal Ghoul, but fuck it, I'm gonna say Roz. I'm a Batman Begins fanboy, so it's Roz Al Ghoul to me. So thank you guys for watching this double header of a review, and we'll see you guys next time in the funny pages.